Families, Carolyn, are struggling to find child care as thousands of students unexpectedly make the switch to virtual learning. It comes as the FDA gives the green light to the booster shot for ages 12 to 15. The CDC gets the next vote. Some of the biggest districts in the state are back to remote learning. That includes Ann Arbor, Southfield and Oak Park. But the move to remote learning is only temporary. 7 Action News reporter Kiara Hay spoke to parents who say they want more transparency. Oak Park is the latest district out of at least five in Metro Detroit, making the last minute decision to either cancel classes or go remote this week. I spoke with parents today who say today has been day one of a very stressful week that they fear could turn into months. At least five school districts across Metro Detroit canceled in person learning this week, leaving many parents returning to work stressed and scrambling. We are trying as hard as we possibly can to keep that stress internal and not um, expose the kids to it. Ross Kinder has six kids at three different public schools in Ann Arbor. Kinder says on New Year's Eve, the district sent out a letter saying school will be canceled the following Monday and Tuesday and remain virtual the rest of the week. His plan? Essentially lean on grandparents. Luckily, Kinder says he has family at least temporarily, to step in and help while he and his wife go to work. It's a challenge. Emily Sutherland, who has the ability to work from home, says she's having to juggle entertaining and educating her second grader while on the clock. It is a part-time job for us on top of our full-time jobs. But for Meher Salah, it's one or the other. This Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I have to take three days off because, you know, I have to kind of babysit essentially my, my kindergartner, my third and fifth grader to make sure they're all doing their virtual school. Sutherland fears virtual school, at least for an arbor, is here to stay. I don't think that they would have done two days of planning for only three days of virtual school. That just doesn't add up. I spoke with some parents off camera today who say they completely agree with school district's decision to cancel in person learning in order to reevaluate things because of the high COVID infection rate. But others say they just want things to be more transparent. They want a metric where they can see where things are going so they can prepare if classes are shut down again. In Oak Park here, hey, 7 Action News. Kira, thank you.